Uh, there's been some requests about uh, setting volume level on GarageBand. I know this is a I know this is a popular uh, topic because I myself I've been using GarageBand here on a Mac for for a lot of years, uh, probably about since when we first started using GarageBand. So I know that when I did music and I sent songs out to iTunes that they just come in uh, low volume. So I, I've tried a couple, uh, I've actually done a couple of tips here, uh, little tricks that I learned over the years to see what I can do to get it better. <clears throat> so I'm going to show you guys basically what I do. Um, you know, I have a song here pulled up in GarageBand already. Uh, this is just some side song I did before with the girl. Uh, and let's just see if it actually has a sound. So, uh, usually what I do here is before, I, you know, and share, we send a song to iTunes, but we're not going to do that. Uh, uh, you know, I want to go to track and go down to master track, uh, or show master track, and it'll pop up right here. And I don't recommend doing this for every single song that you guys do, because it might come out staticky, but let's just say that this song is just is low. So I turned all the way to 6.0, right? I've done that. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to send this on iTunes now. It'll ask you all this. Make sure it says MP3, encoder, compress. Uh, there, we'll just leave everything like that. So I, I want to kind of do it the same way you guys were probably going to do it. So let's create this mix now. Again, if you guys have any additional questions, feel free to ask because I've done a lot of things. Uh, and especially beats too, if you guys need help trying to make a beat as well. I've done that on the piano roll. I get pretty good at doing that. Um, let's see here. Should be finishing up here. Alright. So there's the song. It automatically starts playing, right? I'm gonna grab that. I'm gonna drag it to my desktop. See how I said MP3 right there before it uh, vanished? So let's say I'm making a new file, alright? Say new garage band, you know, I'm not gonna save that. Let's say new project, uh, loops, and then I actually did double click loops. Uh, let's say YouTube, um, go ahead and create. See how it says MP3 already? I, I had somebody saying that their file said MP4. So if that is the case, I'm thinking that maybe your file you dragged in there just must be an MP4. Because uh, MP4 is usually for movies. I don't know why a music file would be an MP4. Um, so I'll we'll grab that. See how the little green plus sign is there? See, the image is all Mac in there. So this is what I like to do. So let's say, let's say this is in there. I like to get track. Let me move this out of the way. I like to get track and go to duplicate track. And then duplicate track. Now same thing over and over. And then I would hit Command C to copy that track. Click the, make sure this is highlighted. Then Command V. This is highlighted. Command V. And that's how you can get multiple ones in there, so it sounds additionally even louder. This doesn't work most of the time, but it's still worth the try to see if you can get the songs to be a little louder. So then I just turn all the volumes up on there. And you can even go back uh, to show master track and and turn the volume back on those. And then uh, send it out louder and just, let's just see if it sounds louder. And uh, you know if it doesn't this time, that's usually because the song itself is just so low, because I know that I've done a lot. I probably did about four CDs worth of uh, music where I do have some songs there where they're just intentionally low. So I, at that point, I recommend just getting a new program that we can stick it in there. Uh, I went out and I bought myself Logic. You can always download that from Torrance. Uh, so I, I went out and got Logic Pro 9 is what I have. So I use that now. I don't even use GarageBand really anymore. And uh, that one just intentionally is just a loud, uh, it's a good program. It just makes everything loud already. So after this pops up here, I'll show you guys what another thing you can do. See, it pops up again there. And I'm going to hit File when I'm in iTunes now. I'm going to click that. I'm going to go to File. I'm going to go to Get Info. I go to Options. I'm just going to turn that up. And that should automatically be louder for you guys. I mean, this is going to be way louder. This 
see the difference. That one. And that one. There is a huge difference there. So I recommend trying this out, and if it doesn't work, you know, feel free to ask me, and I'll see what else we can do, okay? Alright, thank you guys for watching, and please subscribe, and comment, and share your ideas of what, uh, you know, if you guys need help in anything, let me know.